Unfortunately, the PlayStation 1 controller doesn't work, so I've got it connected into this adapter, into the Cronus Max, into the Brook Converter, nothing happens. If I plug it straight into the Brook Converter, nothing happens. If I use this one in any combination, it still doesn't work, so I can't get the PlayStation 1 controller to work. Now, what I will say is, at the moment, I'm not connecting the Cronus Max to any PC. There is an option on the Cronus Max to plug it in to a PC, and then you can put different programs on it. So there probably is ways that you will be able to get this to work on the controllers that are not working in this video. But it's already complicated enough with adapter after adapter, so I didn't want to introduce a laptop into the mix as well, because that's just gonna be a bit too much hassle. But if you're into this sort of thing, by all means, connect it up to a laptop, and you will probably get more success with the items that don't work. So here we have a PlayStation 2 controller, and this does work, but it hasn't got the full range of features. So as you can see here, the analog stick is a proper analog stick. I'm accelerating using the X, and I'm braking using the circle. And then I can use one up here, or two, to do the weapon. And then I can do one or two on the right-hand side to do the drifting around the corners. So on a game like Mario Kart, this would work fine. So that's number two there, and that's number one. But we've got a problem with the right analog stick. So if I was to go home, I can't go home on this because there is no home button. So again, I'm gonna to have to use the Pro Controller or the Joy-Con to go home. And if I show you what buttons they are, you can see the problem I've got when I use the analog sticks. So if we go to controllers and sensors, and go down to test input devices. The bottoms themselves are fine, so if you see here, that's A, B, X, Y, that's gonna be plus and minus, and then click in R, click in left, that's gonna be Z, L, so slightly different, Z, R, they're normally at the back, and we've got R and L, but again, you can live with that. The problem we've got is when we use the analog stick. So if I go to calibrate control sticks, and if I go on on the left one, you can see that this one does work. It's a bit more, it moves to its limit quite quickly. So if you just want to do a tiny amount, it does work, but it's got a tendency to move over to the limit. So it, it kind of wants to go to the side, but it's fine. You don't notice that when you're playing, but it hasn't got the same control that the Pro Controller would have, or the PlayStation 3, 4, or the Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller. But the left analog stick is more than playable. The problem we've got is when we go over to the right one. So on this one here, it's completely messed up. So if I go left, it goes up. If I go right, it goes down. If I go down, it goes right. And if I go up, it goes left. So as you can see there, that's completely out and that's gonna be very hard to play. And if I'm going around clockwise on the screen, it's going counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. And if I go around counterclockwise, you can see that it's going around clockwise. So as you can see, everything is reversed. But apart from the right analog stick, it does actually work pretty well. Now the other thing we can use is an aftermarket PlayStation 2 controller. So here we have an aftermarket PlayStation 2 controller. And again, we've got the same issues as the other one. But with this one, it has got other features, like we've got the turbo feature, we've got the slow feature. So on a game like Mario Kart again, this one would work pretty much perfectly.
Yeah, so you can see there that it does work well when you're playing certain games, but any game that needs the right analog stick and the PlayStation 2 controllers are not gonna work. Right, next we got this really old PlayStation 2 steering wheel, and believe it or not, this works when you plug it in via the Brook adapter, with the Cronus Max plugged into the Brook adapter, and then you need a USB to a PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 converter. So I've got a little double one there, you can also get these blue versions here that also work. You get these really cheaply from places like eBay and Amazon. Now, although you have two, you can only ever do one player with this Brook adapter here. So you can't control two controllers via the one Brook adapter. Each Brook adapter will only support one controller. But as you can see, believe it or not, it works. Yeah? So let's just go back to Mario Kart and let's see what Accelerate is. Right, so that's Accelerate. Does, this, does that work as Accelerate? Yes it does. And that's back, so unfortunately that's not brake. See, I can't configure anything in Mario Kart. If this was fast RMX, then I could configure it to have this as Accelerate and this as brake. But let's just have a little go here now. Imagine this is my right foot on here. That's to use the weapon there. So that's skidding around the corner. So as you can see, believe it or not, that works kind of nice. I can also do accelerate from here as well. So you'd be able to get PlayStation 2 steering wheels from places like CEX in the UK for very little money, we're talking about probably pounds, you know, for definitely under £10 you would be able to get a PlayStation 2 steering wheel. And it will make something like this game a lot more fun. Obviously, with the Joy-Cons, you can get the little steering wheels that you pop them in. These things here, and you can use the motion controls, which is also fun, but sometimes it's nice to hold on to a big wheel. Right, okay, so obviously that's a wired controller. Now, the big problem with this controller here is there's no home button. So I've got no way now of getting back home. So that's why you're gonna have to still have your Joy-Con or your Pro Controller handy. So when you wanna go home, you can press home. Now, just to quickly show you, there is no analog stick on this, so I can't do the analog test. But if I go to down to system settings, I'll just show you the range of buttons. If I go to test input devices, controller buttons, you can see that that is A, B, Y, X, R, L, ZL, ZR, and then I've got my D-pad there, and I've got minus and plus, and these here are A, and that's X. So that's the reason it's not working as brake on that. Also, that needs a bit of an oil because you can hear how noisy it is. It hasn't been used in a long time. Yeah, so that works surprisingly well.